So now I'm at the bottom of Northern Cave, prepared to, to do the final battle. I checked what the Desert ro Rose was, and uh, it gives you a... You go to that same guy who gives you the um, master things for giving him the Earth Harp, and he gives you a Gold Chocobo, which is totally pointless because we already have one. So fuck all these guys, let's get going. Is there supposed to be no sound? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there is. It's been quite a while since I, uh, since I actually finished this game. Some pretty brutally hard enemies here, I suspect. Oh, that's a... Oh, double attack. I can't manage that. Whew, I drop. That'll be useful. I'm just going to keep Cloud's uh, limit. Very effective. Sometimes the directions which you go in, or the directions which you need to push in these sort of like jumping segments, are not exactly intuitive. <laughs> uh, there's no point even fighting this. It's not like it really gives me anything. Yeah, there, here's an example. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Uh, there it is. Or it's either not intuitive, or sort of like doesn't really work properly. <laughs> Poor Yuffie. Just getting targeted by everything. Hey, this is a different one. Might as well attack it a bit. And of course, dies in two hits. Yes, I mean if it's not as extreme as some, in something like Final Fantasy X, but if you're if you've you know leveled up and gotten good enough stats to beat the hardest bosses in the game, you end up finding it really super easy <laughs> when you get fairly late in the game. Or like, well, you know, like the bosses in the final dungeon and the final bosses and stuff like that. Uh, I'll, I'll still, whatever. I'll, I'll still keep the limit break because nah, it's not like really matters. I can't even remember what it does when that countdown ends. Obviously, uses some spell, does a bit of damage, probably. Those menus seem to be lagging. Oh no, Giant's Causeway, breaking up.
Actually, I think there are quite a few giant's causeways. There's one in England, but... I think there are ones in other places which actually go by the same name, essentially. Go towards the light cloud! Why does Sephiroth have these powers? <laughs> Split my allies into three groups, but what I remember is you you go through the, the groups like sequentially. So if one group fails, you get, get you get another group, which means actually I'm not gonna make three three um equal parties. I'm gonna make uh well actually I'll make the worst possible party. Uh, who's hmm. And then the worst party, Red, who's actually fine, and Katesith. Fucking Katesith. Useless fucking Katesith. Yeah, so I'm not going to give them a tier or anything, none they're actually fine. I certainly hope it works that way round, and so I'm actually fighting with the three I intend to be fighting with straight away, rather than fighting with the three which have no materia, I have a level... Well, I mean, they're not a bad level, but... Oh yeah, it's fine. Their level's fine, it's just that, uh... Everything else is terrible. Um... Hmm... I'll actually, st I'll still save this for um, the next phase. Maybe I, mm, in retrospect, should have should have put the two cut on someone who wasn't Cloud, because then I'd actually be able to use it, rather than me just saving this. And yeah, it's not like coming in super useful, because I'm not attacking with him anyway. Is that him defeated? Okay, so that's the first phase. And now for his second phase. So that's Bizarro Sephiroth. Although, I wouldn't exactly call the next form not Bizarro. Okay, that's a bit of, a, bit of a strange transition. Don't really remember that, that happening, but maybe it did. One winged angel theme, one winged angel look, otherwise very weird look. It's put on walls, now my Omni Slash isn't going to do as much damage, which is unfortunate. Why is the sound gone all weird? I've got most of the sound only. I've got like most of the music only coming out through the left ear, and then most of the sounds only coming out through the, through the right ear. So I think we can all agree hard boss.
You know, it is God form. That's how difficult it is to beat a god. Um. There are a lot of things where, like, uh. Where the title of God's apparently given out to pretty much anything, and it's just like, well, you know, normal humans being gods, whatever. You might as well not even be called a god if, if, it's, if it's just like, my power level is on the level. I mean, it's like Kami in Dragon Ball Z. As in Kami just means god in Japanese, but still. Um, he's. He's like useless. I mean, he has the ability to, to uh, you know create Dragon Balls, and the Dragon Balls disappear if he dies, but other than that, he's like way weaker than everyone else, or way weaker than all the actual powerful people. I mean, Krillin would beat the shit out of him, and that's, that's saying something. Some sick backflips. Hey Cloud, you got a bit of dirt on your left shoulder. So this is where Farm Fantasy X got their inspiration for super meaningful, completely pointless. Uh, <laughs> like, oh well, not completely pointless, but it's like, like it meant a lot, and it sort of like uh, it was like the. Uh, I should. And you get get given an automatic limit break. You get a yes, but it, it's like completely unlosable. Just like Farm, farm Boss and Farm Fantasy 10. I mean, him getting killed by a 1700 damage counter attack does seem a bit stupid. Probably should have finished with Omni Slash just to make it make a bit more sense. God, his shoulder looks weird. What the hell is up with it? Then he wakes up and he's like, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, I'm not in this like, idyllic scene. Actually, I'm just about to die. Okay, Cloud, uh, got more pressing things. You can talk about this later. Let's, let's just get out of here first.
some some seriously high quality uh, pre-rendered videos here. Look at that. Just just look at the quality of that. They like it's like they took videos, like low resolution videos of uh, action figures. Sort of. Oh, that stupid pilot fucked up. This is, um... Yeah, it's like very random censoring. Like, that wasn't censored at all, it just said shit. Whereas, most of everything else that Sid says, he's like... Well, yeah, it's all just, uh, punctuation. What building is that? Wow, it's not even moving. I don't know what you're even worried about. In Advent Children, Midgar ends up being in a bit less ruin than it looks like there. looking at Midgar. They're like the opposite side of the world. <laughs> was that calm? It looked like Cosmo Canyon, but that makes no sense at all. I mean, the girl looked like she was looking from calm. Um... Considering the not exactly overwhelming size of the meteor and how it's like looks like it's travelling towards the the uh, planet at about one meter per second, I don't think it'd really do any damage other than that which it directly fell on. It's for live stream. This is some pretty, like... This is some fern girly shit. What actually came out first? This or fern girly? Huh? 
Uh, I would think they're very close. Hmm. I think probably this. This was 97 in Japan. I used to think it was 97. Um, and I think Fern Gully might be like 99 or something like that. But yeah, this is some serious Fern Gully shit. It's like, humanity bad, planet good. <laughs> Look at the magic of the planet! Where you play some music or something like that and then a, pl and then a tree grows! Where if you just believe in the heart of the cards or the uh, will of the planet or, or whatever and, you know, it saves you from Armageddon somehow. It ended up not being all that great because then then loads of people got geostigma, stigma, including Cloud. Uh, but then somehow the life that water where did that water even come from? Ah, whatever. It all ended up big fine in the end. It is quite an abrupt ending, sort of. I think like like it's it's like oh it's been resolved and then it just end. It's like it's more it's a bit more abrupt than most of them anyway. Most of them at least has a bit of like a epilogue. Did that suddenly start going quicker or? Am I imagining it? Whatever. Anyway, that was my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, next, Final Fantasy IX.